Hey guys, Mike back. I wanted to show you guys something real quick I kind of slapped together. So I kind of want to call this setup the solar panel dyno. What that means is I want to be able to test individual panels with individual outputs to see exactly what they're outputting, you know, separate from the charge controller losses and the battery losses and all that stuff. So basically what I've done here is first to start, I have this, solar, this Harbor Freight solar panel. I went ahead and installed these and I like these because they're very easy to crimp and then you can plug them into everything. So I've been using these kind of on everything. So I took these, I put another set on this little cheap Amazon power meter. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook this power meter up to the PV side of the charge controller and then obviously the charger or the battery for the load. And I'm hoping this will show us the actual watts coming out of the panel real time. So we'll be able to see, you know, given the conditions we can simulate in my backyard, exactly what panel produces how much power. So that way in the future I can get like, I want to be able to take this 100 watt panel and compare it to these. You know, that's all, these two are also 100 watts each. So it'd be kind of cool to be able to see, you know, the voltage, the wattage, and kind of see exactly what these things are putting out and be able to kind of make a judgment, okay, this is more efficient than that or whatever, or how far is the rated output deviate from the actual output. Now, obviously conditions are gonna dictate how much power your solar panels put out, um, but this is just kind of a cool test rig I slapped together real quick, so we're gonna go ahead and test this. I'm gonna slap this over here. Uh, we have some overcast, so it's not gonna work too good. I just wanna demonstrate that this meter can actually run off the panel, push power through, and it actually all works like I think it will. All right, so our load, aka this not fully charged battery is hooked up. We got the panel and sun, not perfect sunlight, but we'll be able to get a, couple, a little bit of power out of this. So I'll go ahead and hook the connections up. Okay. Well, that sucks. It's very hard to see, but it says 21.5 volts, and we're not pulling any power yet. So let's give this a second. I'm sorry, guys. It's very, very difficult to see, and it doesn't help that the GoPro kind of sucks up close into screens. But I'll do the best to show you guys. Where's all that glare coming from? Okay, so we're at 21 volts. Okay, there we go. 3.13 watts, 29 watts, 46, 43. Okay, so that appears to be working. So we're getting about 50 watts, not very impressive, but this is proof of concept. So I want to be able to use this in a later video. And we're going to go through when we have a really, really sunny day and we're going to test each panel and I want to compare and contrast each panel to see which one's pushing how much power. So this is just a janky way to do it, but it does seem to work. So sorry guys, it's really hard to see on this power meter here. And it also tells you how many, let's see here, volt minimum, uh, maximum wattage we've seen so far, how many amp hours it's pushed. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, anyways, so that does work. So that's super cool. So eventually I'll make a nicer lead, put some heat shrink on this, and then build a test stand to hook all this up to, and then we'll be able to have a way to dyno our solar panels.